everybody back again with another video one thing that bothers me about the comic book community and battle community is that everybody tries to just throw aside travel speed like it has nothing to do in terms of combat sure it's not the end all be all and there are certain scenarios where this doesn't apply at the same time we can't just brush this aside like it means absolutely nothing especially when you get to those people with ridiculous levels of travel speed then you have those people that try to use real life examples to quantify why you can't judge it that way when real life examples is very limited in terms of fictional comparisons. A popular example when people are trying to debunk this thing about combat speed and travel speed not being related at all is when people try to say Usain Bolt versus Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee obviously has better reaction time and combat speed than Usain Bolt because Usain Bolt is just a track runner at the same time Usain Bolt has better running speed than Bruce Lee. This example right here is what people try to use when they try to tell me otherwise that combat speed and travel speed aren't related at all but let's look at some things i'm just going to say right up front this example couldn't be more bull crap first of all travel speed of these two isn't as astronomical like a fictional character would be usain bolt can run an amazing 28 miles per hour right but bruce lee in all honesty probably can run at least 15 or 16 miles per hour at least so basically 28 miles per hour versus 16 or 15 miles per hour that's not even a two times travel speed difference. Then we get into fictional characters like say someone like Superman, a being that can easily go at least one times the speed of light. Now don't jump on me because I know he can go way faster than this, but for the sake of highballing and people saying I'm wanking or lowballing people blah 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 blah, I'm just going to say bare minimum light speed for this example right here. So if you you obviously think somebody can fly the speed of light and is going to have the same level of combat speed as somebody that can run at 20 miles per hour. The speed gap between somebody that can run 20 miles per hour and somebody that can fly light speed is so astronomical that anybody with a brain should be able to know that the person that can fly light speed is faster, even without any combat speed feats to back this up. But obviously, who's faster? But if you're still not convinced, let me give you some more examples. Another example somebody tries to use is the fact that somebody can pilot a jet that can move over thousands of miles per hour, but does that mean that the person flying that jet could react to something coming at them at a thousand miles per hour? Of course not, but listen to this. This example couldn't even be more wrong either. When you're flying in the sky, there's no object in the sky for you to have to try to dodge, so therefore there's no way, no real way for you to test your combat speed when you're at the high, despite you flying the jet that high in the air. Now, if you was to fly a jet in a closed, compact space with a whole bunch of buildings and you're able to avoid all those buildings almost instantaneously, then you wouldn't need combat speed and travel speed to be able to counter all these objects in your way or your path. That's when combat speed matters. You can't compare somebody that can run 20 miles per hour to somebody that can fly at light speed and think it's a similar comparison to Bruce Lee versus Usain Bolt, who aren't even double each other's speed gap range. Bruce Lee being 16 miles per hour at least and Usain Bolt being 28 miles per hour. That's not even a two times speed increase difference compared to somebody that's light speed compared to somebody that's 30 miles per hour. In short, the reason why it's possible for Bruce Lee to have better combat speed than Usain Bolt despite him being able to travel faster than him is because of the gap in speed isn't all that astronomical. So yes, it is possible for somebody to have better combat speed there's somebody that can travel faster as long as the gap in speed isn't super duper astronomical like light speed versus somebody that's only about 20 miles per hour. Now if I was to make Usain Bolt light speed and have him fight Bruce Lee then hands down he would have better combat speed than Bruce Lee automatically. Why you ask? Because of the speed gap is too astronomical. Normally in fiction not all the time though if I had to say a percentage I would say 85% of the time so it doesn't matter to a degree when somebody can travel at the speed they normally can navigate while they are traveling at these speeds meaning that their perceptions are comparable to how fast they're moving if it wasn't then they would be running into everything you don't need combat speed for this type of flight obviously because you're in a wide open space and have no objects to avoid constantly on the other hand you do need combat speed for these levels of flight speed i'm about to wrap this video up though i hope you all enjoy it i also hope you all learn something new and that I gave you a different perspective. And if you if you was one of those people that believe travel speed means absolutely nothing, no matter how fast you get or how big the speed gap is between two people or characters. Everybody post your comments down below and let me know what you all think. And make sure you don't sleep on people that have absurd levels of flight speed or travel speed. I'll see you all next time.